Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Got out today for a bit of a last minute camp really. Um, I was like, sod it, let's just do it. Um, I thought I'd try out this new tent. Got this just before lockdown from One Tigris, uh, Tangram, Tanram, uh, named after them puzzles with the triangles because of the shape. It's a tent with a lot of options really with the inner and the outer and everything and I really should have set it up before but I, I don't have room <laughs> at home. So I've come out and uh, it's starting to rain already. So that's why I wanted to kind of try it out in this weather. Uh, I'm not 100% with my setup here. It could be a bit torta, but um, I can fettle with it throughout the evening. I've got other things to do, like get some firewood together and that. Um, get some dinner on and that, because I'm already hungry and it's going to take a while. Um, yeah, but uh, I think this should be pretty cozy. There's your inner. Got access and vestibules on both sides. Not used to having an inner, I'm usually just teepees, just the outer. So it's like luxury for me. <laughs> I'll just take you around a little bit here. So you can see that's your main area with the two vestibules either side. I have to go this way because of the trees. There's one side of the vestibule open. And this side's a little neater with the vestibule open there. And that rain's starting to come down a bit more now, so I'm going to have to put the camera in there while I get some firewood. I did not realise until just now, getting in here to put my sleeping bag and that in here, how big it is. It's definitely a two person tent this. I mean, I'm over here, plenty of kit, other person, foot room. I'll show you a better look maybe in the morning because I think it's going to rain properly soon but it's a spacious tent, plenty of headroom as well. Nothing special for lighting a fire today, just some birch bark from my little tinder pouch. So just get that into smaller pieces, help that get started. And just my ferro rod and knife. To 
Don't want to go? Really am loving the kind of brown coyote colour lately over green. I think it just blends in better. Certainly from a distance, I'll take you a bit further away to see. Hopefully you can see what I mean. The camera's picking up more light from the reflection than uh, I'm seeing in real life. You can see that on the viewfinder. But uh, yeah, I just like the way it blends in. Just taking a quick breather. Surprised it hasn't uh, started raining properly yet. We were supposed to be getting quite a lot and perhaps even some uh, thunder. So I was considering stringing up a tarp so I had at least an area um, other than just the tent to chill in and cook and that. But I'm tempted to hold off on that because it interferes with light, with filming and stuff as well. I'll wait and see. <laughs> Should spend the extra time just uh, fettling with the tent and getting it a bit better than I have. trying out my new Pathfinder cup and uh, bottle set here. Um, didn't bring a grill with me. I thought this had the um, fish mouth spreader with it, which it didn't. I do have one at home somewhere, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shove it in the fire because I was only using a tripod for cooking today. But I wanted a cupper first. So it's the first time on the coals. The rain is on, but uh, not too heavy at the moment. So um, I'm not shoving everything in the tent just yet. I uh, want to get dinner up and running, go from there. I'm actually pretty good on the pitch now. Um, you can see the bathtub there all nice. Ridge uh, line's good. It's just the vestibule is a little high on the outside because I've opened it up a bit, but I don't mind that. That's good air circulation. I may even keep the side open tonight and just have the mesh closed off. because there is quite a few bugs about now. But yes, it's looking good. I'm looking forward to getting in there. It's been a long time since I've had a, a non-TP tent, I think. So it took a little while to get this straight, but um, now that it's together, I can pack it with the inner attached. So it'll be much quicker to put up. This is going to be a rough and ready pot roast here. Just going to put some oil in the bottom to start off. Then I'm just going to use my bushcraft knife to cut some potatoes. And the same for some carrot. Add in some onion, a couple of mushrooms I'm just going to throw in whole. Got some thyme just left over from when I did the uh, jerk chicken video the other week. Give that a little stir in with the oil. 
with my little spoon. And I've got a poosan here, which is a young chicken. Just get that in there a bit. Don't want it to be too close to the top. Put a little oil on that. Got some army salt and pepper. And we're good to go. Check that out for a day glow bed setup. Got a nature hike mat that uh, I've not used in ages. Just so happened I forgot one and it was um, in my kind of emergency bag in the truck. So there's a good reason for keeping one. And my Fathom EV, I think it is, which is the one I took to Sweden. And that kept me good in, God, minus four or so. The temperature has dropped here, but it is still summer. <laughs> it might be over the top. Just sitting here thinking to myself how relaxed I was knowing I didn't have to kind of shoot off home at a certain time or before it was too dark. And it's been a good two months, over two months, since I've been able to camp. It's crazy. <laughs> it's going to be a record, at least the last few years. It is so relaxing to be able to sit here, listen to the birds roosting. Wait for my pot roast and I'm going to sleep well tonight, <laughs> especially if that rain starts. I can't believe how long it's held off. If I didn't want the rain, it would be here. <laughs> I wanted to test this tent out. It should be here overnight, so I'll have to grab the camera in the middle of the night half asleep to try and capture it. <laughs> Still pretty quiet with regards to the uh, air travel, even the roads in the distance too. Time for a little check up on the food. Oh, it's looking good. Everything's cooking away nicely. Mmm. a bit more colour on that chicken. Cheers everybody. Oh yes, deserve that. <laughs> Now tell me, who thinks that looks like a grumpy cyclops tree? Everything's pretty much cooked now. I've just taken the Dutch oven off and put the coals on top just to finish browning the chicken off. Let's have a little look. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Just browning off nicely. Should be ready once I've got my plate all ready. This is my new cutlery set. A lot of you picked up on in my last video, the jerk chicken one. It's a spoon, fork and knife. And as you can see, they're all hand forged. These are from a seller on Etsy. There's a couple of people doing these on Etsy. I'll uh, probably talk about them more over on my new review channel. If you uh, haven't seen that, check it out. <laughs> I'll be a link in the description. That's where I talk about all the kit I use and stuff people send me as well. But yeah, they're nice. I really like them. Some of these roast potatoes. Carrots. And 
let's make some room for the main event, our Poussin. Oh, that looks good. And we've got some mushrooms in there too. And some onion. Well, apparently I didn't record any of what I was just doing. I was just giving it a taste and uh, I'll just cut off some more for you here. <laughs> Let's relive that moment. Mm. That chicken's perfectly cooked. The potatoes could have been a bit crispier, but they're perfectly cooked. I could have left them, but I was hungry. This is a relaxing camp. <laughs> Oh, I need to get some of that mushroom, don't I? Mm. A poussin like this is, is just great for uh, cooking for one, if you want to do like a little roast dinner for one. Just works out brilliantly. Very important when you camp with cast iron that you re-season it over the fire. Just clean it out and dry it off and then put some oil in it. Doesn't take long. Good morning. Oh, I'm a bit puffy, but that's mainly because of hay fever, <laughs> not because of lack of sleep. It's a, a good night. I think I have got a bit too uh, spoilt by my firm arrest, though, to go back to anything else. Yeah, it's a nice little tent. This wasn't really my intended use in the woodland, but uh, yeah, it's done perfectly well. And there's no uh, sort of spark holes or anything on it from the fire. It's quite far back from it, I guess. Yeah, plenty of room. You don't get any of this netting in your face or anything like that. Very nice, very comfortable for one, and we'll do two just fine. All right, I guess I'm gonna make some breakfast. It seems we're not getting that rain that I was promised, the whole reason for coming out. Well, not the whole reason. <laughs> I'm not going to get the fire going this morning. Just going to use this uh, winter well stove, titanium one. go, even the base fits on there. So it just unfolds. Uh, that way around. As you can probably see, I have used this before. Before this time I'll try a different, different technique. use these pieces upright but I don't think that's very necessary in a stove like this just thought I'd give it a go that kind of rocket stove Swedish torch style 
but it did work quite well last time just feeding it through. Why not try different things? And a combination of birch bark and sticks just to fill it out. And I'll just put a lighter to it. Well, that took off nice and quick. The standing on end didn't work too well in this stove because of the uh, short gap at the top. Um, so I just knocked them over and it's going much better now. Um, it'll stay going with the pan on, whereas before it was extinguishing slightly. Time to plate this up. That's uh, some crispy bacon. And a nice egg. By the way, the ground sheet I used is this gear top one, uh, 90 centimeters by 210. It's more for a single tent really, but uh, it helped. I'll uh, link it below if you're interested in it. As I will the one tigress, which was uh, a great little tent. Good to uh, <laughs> ease myself back into it. And all you need is a couple of trekking poles. I don't even know if I mentioned that before. So yeah, so. Handy little thing to have, look forward to using it 
on the moors or something. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Actually getting out for the night for a change. <laughs> Missed an entire season. It's crazy. Right. Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.